So we just got pre-approved with our lender, Scott. Um, we've been working on this for like two, maybe over two years. So it feels really good for everything to kind of be wrapping up and we can finally make an offer on a home. My credit was literally zero because I have never had a loan. And so Scott was a huge help with this. Um, he actually got us doing two different kinds of loans. We got a revolving line of credit and then we also got a Christmas loan. And Scott was saying that both of those in conjunction really help build your credit the quickest. I wanna say we did those for like a year. So we started those last summer, um, maybe even last winter. When you're aiming for credit, you kinda wanna be in that 740, 750, 760 range. Obviously the higher the better. And then Joe's was already pretty good. So that was great. He was on the loan as well. And there's also a lot of new regulations with being a small business owner. So we kind of had to hurdle through those, but I'm really grateful that we kind of pulled it off. And I would definitely advise anybody who's looking into buying to get ready for this pre-approval process because it took us two years. So it's not one of those things that you just walk in, walk out um, for everybody. Some people it takes a long time, especially if you're, you're buying your first home. All right, so here's one of the first properties we looked at. It's just off of Grantsdale, and it was posted on Facebook. A lady on there did a full remodel, and it looks really good. She did a good job. We went and checked it out, and the house is pretty old. There's some weird rooms, kind of some weird upstairs stuff, but uh, the outbuildings there in pretty rough shape, and I think we're, we're, not, we're we passed on it. So the next property we looked at was actually my old daycare. And why I really like that property is because it was super nice on the inside, but it was set up perfectly to do a duplex. But yeah, it would have been set up perfectly to rent out the other side and that could cover pretty close to the mortgage, which would have been awesome. So we found a house on Craigslist. Um, it didn't have any pictures of the home, didn't have a price, it only had the address. And I grew up like two blocks away from this address. And so I kind of knew the home. And I emailed the guy and it sounded a little weird, but we were like, oh, like, if you show up and it's not real, then we're really not out anything. So fingers crossed that it's an actual house and not a scam. <laughs> you never know with Craigslist. So we got the key from the guy and we're just pulling up to come look at it. Oh, this house is super cute. All right, let's go check this one out. This is a lot cuter than the other ones we've been looking at. <laughs> Nice. Super nice. Really clean. Raised ceilings. This is so happy. Get through a little couch right there. All right, let's go check out the kitchen. This is fancy. This is much bigger than our kitchen now. Like, you can take a few steps in the kitchen. What do you think about this house? It's like it's never been used. Like, wow. All the stuff looks so new. Oh, we got a horse out here. Yeehaw. Got yourself a new horse if we get this house. Maybe a privacy fence right here. <laughs> Definitely probably be putting up a privacy fence. All right, let's go check out the bathrooms. Look at this pantry. Oh man, this is the master bedroom. It's actually pretty big. It's huge. All right, we got the master bathroom. Here's the other bedroom. All right, and here's the third bedroom. This house is super nice. Straight out of the 70s. Got ourselves a 70s laundry room. These appliances are like brand new. All right, we're gonna walk around to the backyard and kind of see what they got going on back here. Oh, we got some flowers. Love the bay window. Like I think this is the whole backyard, but then it also has this whole other like lot. Like over there, huh? Yeah. Yeah, 1.6 so, acres is pretty big. That's a ton of land. Yeah, there's the fence line right there. So you can see, kind of makes a corner there and then cuts across all the way to the road over there. So you can almost subdivide that and sell it off. Dividing it through the subdivision process would probably be around, I don't know, 25 to 50,000 when I was looking into it. These numbers might change depending on where you are. You could also do a family transfer, and I think that'd be around two to $6,000 from the research I did. So you could either sell it off and get the cash, or you could do what's called a line of credit. Instead of a lump sum, you can withdraw it basically like a bank account. 
you can withdraw what you need as you go, and you only pay interest on what you take out. All right, so we're just getting back to the office right now, and we wrote an offer on the fish hatchery house a couple days ago, and it got declined. And we told him our highest and best price we could do, and he said that wasn't enough. But today, two days later, he said he would accept a formal offer for that price. So we're working on the buy-sell right now. We're going to write it up and get it over to him to sign. And yeah, we're pretty stoked.